Hello guys, today we're going to look at the Canon Elora 70. Well, you guys requested to see more information on this camera. So, I'm going to take you through a few things, so it might be a longer video, but here we go. Uh, so, the first thing you want to do is have the battery, right? So, this is genuine Canon battery, right? Okay. So, there's one way to power it. So, the way you do this is you want to lift up on here. So it's up position, and then you see the contacts right there. And what you want to do is you want to put it in and down. Now it's in there. Okay. Now, if you want to remove the battery, you just want to push this button right here. See this button? Push that in, and then releases the battery. And you can take the battery off. Okay. So that's one way. Now, if you want to use it with power, you have the power pack. All right. Genuine Canon power pack. Now we're going to connect this and I'll show you how to do that. Where do you connect this? Okay, so we're going to go in front of the camera. All right. Okay, you see this compartment right here? And it's actually, you can see right there, DC in. All right, so you're going to grab this here. You're going to pull it open. Okay, and that's going to reveal several ports now. You have a mic AV out we'll get into that some other time and USB but what we're going to concentrate on is the power and the charge so you can either power or charge the battery through here see now that's connected it's going out to your power okay okay so now the camera will turn on and you can use it with power from the wall okay how do you power it on okay so here's the Here's a switch to power it on. So what you want to do, if you want to play back, you're going to go down. And you heard the noise, and you can view the screen there, but what you want to do is you want to see it better. You want to look on there. So now it's flashing that there's no tape in here, but I'm going to put a tape. I'll demonstrate that too. I just want to show you that it's powered on without the battery. Now the other thing you can do too is you want to go past that one, and you want to actually turn the camera on so you can actually film it so now as you can see you're ready to film and see but it is showing you that uh, there is no tape in there now it does have an SD card so we're gonna get into a few of those things but for right now let's turn it off and go back to this mode alright so if you want to charge the battery, let me unplug this, I'll demonstrate. So your battery is low, you want to charge it, the way you do that, you want to charge the battery once again, you lift this up, you're going to push this in, and you want to go down, to see how that lever was released, and now it's on there. Now watch what happens, let me connect the DC one more time, and this is going to start charging your battery. Okay, you see the light right there? That means that the battery is now being charged. Okay, so there you go. That's how you, that's the beginning steps of how you power the camera on with a battery pack or DC. Okay, so now let me demonstrate for you the SD card part of this camera. So some of you guys have requested. So we're going to bring this down so where is the SD card go uh, one thing that I should tell you is that you need if you have a real high capacity card it may not work it will read car error on it so let's open this up and the SD card goes see that right there okay now this is for the inner battery for the time code I already got a video on that I show you how to switch that but that's for a different video you're gonna have to look that up on my channel but the SD card is gonna go in here alright so just I'll make sure it shows you how to put it in right here you can see look a little diagram of the SD card so this is the one I'm using it's an actual Canon SD card but it's a very small camera not a high capacity camera now you're probably wondering can you film on the SD card without having to use the tape and yes the answer is yes you can um, the only thing is that it, it's going to be low quality, okay? So let's turn it on. Let me show you how to do that. Oh, by the way, see right here? This here 
is how you switch from tape, right? Because this is a mini DV camera from tape to card. All right, so what we want to do is we want to be on card. So we're going to turn that switch up to card. And then now we're going to turn this on. Okay, turning it on. Now it's telling me to set the time and zone date, and I'll show you how to do that too. We'll, we'll get into that. Okay, so now it's telling me that you can have up to 1280 photographs, or this is the resolution of the video, right? So if you wanted to film video, you can, right? But it's not going to be high quality. Um, it's going to be low quality, and I'll show you that in a few minutes here. So we put this on here and I want to show you the menu so you want to get to the menu the menu is right here all right so we're gonna hit menu okay and see here is camera setup and I right hear if you, you want to first thing you want to do is format your card so you want to format your card um, I already formatted this card but if you wanted to if it wasn't working you can format the card and it'll be better for you so like I said, I already formatted the card, so we're good to go on that. Uh, but you will find it on the card setup. But since it's already formatted, it's telling you it reads everything, and it's even telling you the movie size that you would want to film with. That that's the highest it will go. And I'll show you if you go down here and you tag on that. You see that? So that's the largest size. If you go down, it's even lower quality. So that is the the highest size you can film with, right? So you might be wondering, well, how do we, how do we film? Okay, let's get out of the menu. We're on plain mode, right? And uh, here we go. I believe, let's see, we can zoom in. So there's zooming in right there. And just zoom out. All right, so let's film a little bit. All right, so the shutter button is right here. So if you want to film, See, so now you're filming, right? Let's, and you can, while you're filming, you can zoom in, right? And pull back. And you see how that is? Okay, so let's uh, let's stop that. And then uh, I'll, uh, I'll transfer the video, and we'll see it in a few seconds here. But. See, so now you're filming, right? Let's, and you can, while you're filming, you can zoom in, right? And pull back. You see how that is? Okay, so let's uh, let's stop that for now. All right. So the other thing that you want to do, uh, if you want to take a photo, then you will go up here. So the photo taking part of it is right here. Okay. So let's just let's just take a photo. See, it automatically zooms in and then it turns green. Let's do it again. See, you heard uh, picture, picture mode. Let's take another one. Maybe not of that, but about this microphone here. Let's take a photograph. So I'm going to put those in right now. So now you now successfully took two photographs and you filmed a little video on the SD card. All right. So we're going to move on. Let's turn this off. Now I'm going to show you the tape part of this. Okay, it's a little bit tricky. I'm actually going to disconnect this because it makes it easier to put the tape in. Now we disconnected that. Put this in. Now we're going to show you the tape part of it. So here, Panasonic Mini DV tape. Now this, you're going to get a higher quality of footage. And I'll show you why in a second. So what we want to do is we want to pull this out. You don't want to press that. You don't want to touch that. It's automatic. So once you pull that down, you hear it click, and it's going to make the noise. And you're going to insert your tape down like this, just like this, just like I'm showing you here. We're going to put it down like this. Okay. And then we're just going to let it do its thing. Watch how it does automatically. goes down. Okay. Now it's going. Okay, it stops. We close it. Now we're ready to go. See, now the tape is in there, and we're ready to go. We're going to open up the camera, and we're going to turn it on, right? So let me go to the playback part of it first. 
All right, so if you got the tape in, this is now playback mode. Obviously, it's just playing back the car now. The reason why that is, is saying charge the battery pack. The reason why that is, is because you remember the little knob here? You want to turn that from card to tape. So if you want to see what's on the tape, go ahead and push that down and watch what happens. Now it's asking me to charge the battery pack. So the battery is running low. See? So I'm going to plug it in because I'm going to demonstrate more of this camera for you. Let's plug that in. Okay. All right. There's the tape part of it. And it's showing you 60 minutes. And there's nothing on this tape. This tape is blank. Right? But it shows you. And here are the controls for it. If you did want to play your tape back, you hit play there, reverse, forward, stop. Right? You got all those things going on there. And let me show you. So you want to go from here, from playback playback mode to camera mode hey now you're on camera mode all right now look at that okay so now you're on camera mode and I can show you if we go to the menu on the menu it shows you the car mix uh, I have to explain that some other time but I want to show you the camera setup okay so there you go there are your shutter zoom uh, if it's 16 by 9, so you can talk the way you toggle down is here's the switch right here So menu I switch up and down See that and then you push it into select. So now this is showing you it's just it's going to be 12-bit uh, SP mode uh, We can check the drive mode here. Let me see hang on a second. Okay This is the VCR setup. Okay VCR setup will let you SP is the highest, I believe, you can go, yep, SP is the highest you can go. And we're going to go down to return, we're going to go back. Uh, you can set up a display, so if you want to display it, it will tell you what to show. Date and format, a um, couple of different options here, we'll have to leave it for another time. Um, okay, let's get out of the menu. And see, now you're ready to record, and if we wanted to record a scene, let's record something real quick. So here is your record button. You want to press the record button here. And see now you're recording onto the tape. You're recording onto the tape and it's even showing you the seconds and all that. Alright, so let's just stop the recording. Just to demonstrate, right? So now it's on pause. You want to hit stop. So hit stop. And then let's go to playback just to see what that looks like. Okay, so now we're on playback mode. Okay, on playback mode, you want to rewind. So we rewind that. Okay, and we're going to hit play. And now we're going to play back what we just recorded. Okay, so there you go. Let's stop that right now. I'm going to rewind, and there you go. Um, I'm going to cut it short here. I hope that helps you out. Uh, so SD card recording, and then we also have uh, DV tape recording. So if you got any questions, let me know, and I'll make more videos discussing more of the menu and the other things you can do with the camera. All right, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you on another video. Bye-bye.